द सर्पेंट एंड द रोप बाय राजा राव कैरेक्टर्स समरी एनालिसिस हेलो एंड वेलकम टू द डिस्कोर्स द सर्पेंट एंड द रोप इज अ मेटाफिजिकल नॉवल रिटन बाय राजा राव दैट वॉज पब्लिश इन नाइनटीन हंड्रेड सिक्सटी एंड वन द साहित्य अकेडमी अवार्ड इन नाइनटीन हंड्रेड सिक्सटी फोर द सर्पेंट इन द टाइटल रिफर्स टू इल्यूजन्स एंड डिजायर्स वेल द रोप रिफर्स टू रियलिटी The major themes of the novel are concepts of existence, reality, and fulfillment of one's desires and capabilities. The novel depicts a clash between the non-dualistic Vedantic philosophy of Adi Shankaracharya and the Western dualist ideas of Kathars. Another important theme of the novel is the problems of immigrants and immigration. The novel has been written in an autobiographical style, and it is a semi-autobiographical story of Raja Rao. Characters of the Serpent and the Rope. Rama Swami is the protagonist of the novel. Rama is a young Brahmin boy from India who lost his mother during his childhood and his father married a widow, a much younger girl whom Rama Swami calls little mother or choti ma. He is a student of philosophy who goes to France to do his research work on the subject of Albigensian heresy. His topic of research is Jainist or Buddhist background of the Kathars. Saroja is Rama's half sister. She is the daughter of little mother from her first marriage. Rama likes Saroja and he has more than a fraternal interest in her. Saroja too respects Rama and listens to him. Madeline is a French girl also involved in research on Kathars and Buddhism. She is very interested in Indian philosophies especially in Buddhism. Rama and Madeline become friends and then they marry. Initially their married life is very satisfying and blissful but gradually they start feeling differences. Despite all the respect for Indo- Indology Madeline doesn't respect various Indian deities the way Rama does Rama is more interested in Vedantic philosophy of non-dualism while Madeline believes in the dualism of Kathars Gradually these philosophical cultural and psychological differences become the reason for the rift between the two Krishna is the son of Rama and Madeline who dies at an early age Catherine is Madeline's cousin, the daughter of Uncle Charles, who married Georges, a young Russian refugee. Both Catherine and Georges like Rama and respect him as a close friend and relative. Subramanyam Shastri is a young suitor for Saroja, whom Saroja doesn't like much. Professor Venkat Raman is a friend of Rama, whom he visits in Banaras during his tour. Pratap Singh is a student of Professor Venkat Raman, who is married to Savitri. Savitri is a young girl interested in communism and since Pratap Singh belongs to a landlord family she doesn't like him and doesn't consider him her husband Summary of the Serpent and the Rope The novel begins as Rama Swami returns to India to attend the last rites of his father who recently died His father was a great scholar and Rama himself is a philosophy researcher working in France He lost his mother at a very early age and then his father remarried a widow who was still young. Rama calls her little mother. After his father's death, he takes responsibility for the family which includes his stepmother, stepsister Saroja and an infant stepbrother. Saroja is the daughter of little mother from her first marriage. Rama has been infatuated with Saroja for a long but being her stepbrother, he keeps his desires under control. The family travel to Banaras to perform the last rites of his father. During the journey, Rama describes how he visited France to complete his research on Kathars and Indian philosophies and how he met a beautiful young French girl Madeleine there. Madeleine and Rama fell in love and they married. Their marriage was very warm, full of emotions and sexual escapades, but after the death of their first son Krishna during his infancy, the two started drifting drifting away. Madeline has great respect for Indian philosophies and she tries her best to become a true Hindu wife of Rama completely devoted to her however Rama feels that there is a basic philosophical difference between the two Rama believes in non-dualism and con- considers himself as purusha the creator and Madeline as prakriti the medium he believes that man and woman are not two different entities but they are two different faces of the same entity and for creation prakriti must become a subject of purusha madeline on the other hand believes in the dualism of kathars and believes that man and woman are two different entities altogether while rama is inclined toward hindu philosophies and deities madeline is more interested in buddhism 
Despite these such subtle differences in opinion, Rama and Madeline respect each other. Yet Rama suffers loneliness, especially when he sees that Madeline often fails to pay similar respect to some of the customs that are too dear for him as a Brahmin man, while for her those are mere superstitions. During his tour to Banaras, he explores his philosophical roots. He explains his experience of Banaras as Banaras is eternal. There are there are the dead who do not die, nor do the living live. The dead comes down to play on the bank on the Ganges, and living who move about and even offer rice balls to the means live in the illusion of a vast night and a bright city. He feels that great Himalayas and surrounding plains explain the eternal truth of the cycle of life and death, while the Ganga teaches humanity. At Banaras, Rama and his family start stay at Professor Venkatraman's house, who introduces him to Pratap Singh, one of his students. Pratap Singh is the son of a zamindar who was loyal to the British government. He recently engaged to a beautiful young woman, Savitri, who is still studying at the University of Cambridge. However, Savitri doesn't want to marry him because it is against her wishes. Savitri is a staunch communist. Pratap Singh asks for Rama's help in solving his philosophical argument with Savitri. Rama meets Savitri and during their discussion, he feels a strong attachment to her. After performing the funeral ceremony of his father at Allahabad, Rama and his family members return to their home city. Rama is feeling healthier in India while he often suffered ill health in France. He is ailing from some lung disease because his body is not adapted to the cold weather of France. Yet he has returned to France. His mother gives him a couple of toe rings as a gift for Madeleine. After returning to France, Rama and Madeleine try their best to rejuvenate their relationship. Soon Madeleine becomes pregnant again. However, Rama is still not convinced about their relationship and doesn't offer the toe rings to Madeleine that he got from little mother. Madeleine used to be very sensitive girl, but she was inspired by the spiritual nature of Indian philosophies and tried her best to become a true devoted Hindu wife of Rama. But gradually, she started feeling more interested in the renunciation of Buddhism. Meanwhile, Savitri visits Rama's house in France where she went for an educational trip. This further complicates Rama's relationship with Madeleine because he finds himself strongly infatuated with Savitri, though he is already married. Rama decides to go to London to complete his research, but his main motive is to spend some more time with Savitri who studies at Cambridge. During his days in London, Rama receives a letter from Pratap Singh informing him that Savitri has fallen in love with a Muslim guy. Rama decides to meet Savitri. He talks with Savitri about a varied, top, varied topic including language, literature, Nazism, communism, Buddhism and Hinduism. Savitri is immensely impressed by him. Meanwhile, Rama has to return to India to attend his stepsister's marriage. His little mother has arranged the engagement of his foster sister Saroja with Subramaniam Shastri, who is a well-educated, good-mannered man. However, Saroja isn't willing to marry him because she doesn't love him. Little mother insists Rama talk to Saroja because she is convinced that Saroja will lead a happy married life with Subramaniam Shastri. Rama discusses the matter with Saroja and explains that every girl has to marry at proper age and she should marry Subramaniam happily because he is a good man, respectful and affectionate to Saroja. Suddenly he falls further ill and starts vomiting blood. He decides to return to France for proper medical treatment but is forced to stay at the house of Captain Shyam Sundar in Bombay for one week because of his health. During his stay, he seduces Shyam Sundar's wife Lakshmi and makes a physical relationship with her without any feeling of guilt. He receives a message that Madeleine gave birth to a stillborn child. He also receives the news that Savitri agreed to marry Pratap Singh and now she and Pratap Singh are married. He returns to France to mend his relationship with his wife Madeleine but finds that she has completely adopted the life of a Buddhist monk. Madeleine is still very respectful and friendly to Rama but she has completely prohibited any physical touch with him. Rama realizes that their relationship is over and decides to file for divorce and goes to London. In London, his health further deteriorates and he is admitted to the hospital. 
Savitri visits her at the hospital and he expresses his feelings towards her by offering her the two rings that his mother gave him. Savitri accepts the two rings and both of them accept that they must part ways and that fate has led them in separate directions. They acknowledge that love is about rejoicing in one another's happiness. He asks Savitri to promise him that she would return to India and become Pratap's good wife. As he recovers, he returns to France for the proceedings of the divorce with Madeleine. Catherine and George appear as witness for Ram for the amicable divorce for him and Madeleine at friendly terms and then Rama bid goodbye to Catherine, George's uncle Charles and Madeleine and returns to India as he realizes that the completeness and comfort he has been looking in relationships with Saroja, Madeleine, Savitri or Lakshmi cannot be attained through these earthly relationships as the answers to his philosophical quest lies in the journey to seek out his guru and that all the trials and tribulations of his life have led him to this realization. So this is it for today. We will continue to discuss the history of Indian English literature. Please stay connected with the discourse. Thanks and regards.